Global economic conditions are improving. The US economy is at an advanced phase of a cyclical improvement. Uh, the European economy is accelerating from a very low level of growth. Emerging markets are instead decelerating, uh, but from a very high level of growth. So overall, uh, we see a convergence of the rates of growth, uh, which is a positive sign uh, for uh, global investors. Emerging markets uh, are uh, currently going uh, through a deceleration of growth, but also uh, we have different uh, uh, situations. So we have, uh, broadly speaking, two groups uh, of countries. On one side, uh, countries which are uh, uh, going uh, through a, a process of uh, outflows of capital, uh, of decelerating uh, uh, internal economy, and uh, they have the need to stabilize uh, their economy. And on the other side, we have creditor countries, uh, which are instead uh, still with position uh, uh, to go through the current cycle, uh, even uh, though they will uh, have a, a slower level of growth uh, compared to, to, last, uh, to the last few years. So overall, uh, the situation is, uh, I think, uh, um, quite, quite stable, but with different countries uh, um, to take into so different country stances to take uh, into consideration. China will, uh, uh, is one of the countries that is going through this uh, deceleration phase. There is a lot of uh, investors' concern about uh, the level of uh, uh, credit uh, in China, which is high, but in our opinion uh, is a problem that can be dealt with uh, by the central government, which has the resources to deal with a very high level of, grow of, of credit which exist both at the level of local governments and at the level of uh, state-owned enterprises. And uh, uh, we also see a strong will of uh, the Chinese leadership to effect, to, to implement economic reforms, uh, which is a positive uh, element to consider. Central bankers have been uh, uh, the most important uh, player behind uh, uh, the market movements of the last few years uh, in terms of uh, uh, their aggressive uh, um, action of reflating the economy, in particular in the US, uh, in the UK and uh, in other uh, countries such as Japan. Going forward, we have different situations. On one side, we have uh, uh, the Federal Reserve, which uh, will go through a tightening cycle, and actually the tape, so-called tapering process, uh, so the reduction of uh, uh, the buying uh, activity of bonds uh, is already uh, the start of this tightening cycle. On the other side, uh, we see in Europe uh, the need from the ECB to further ease monetary policy because uh, uh, as we said, uh, the economic uh, recovery in, uh, in Europe is still very uh, at the very early stages. Uh, so this will drive uh, uh, not only a different uh, stance of the monetary policies in these two areas, but I think uh, will imp uh, impact significantly uh, the currencies uh, and we see uh, those movements as a positive for the dollar. Investor opportunities are still uh, mostly located in uh, risky assets, so, st so starting from equities, um, but uh, uh, much less than in the past, in the sense that given the current level of valuations, uh, the expected returns, long-term uh, returns for equities are going to be much lower, much lower than the ones that we have seen in the last uh, uh, five years uh, since 2009. Uh, credit, on the credit side, uh, we believe uh, that a lot of uh, good news have been priced in uh, and so we believe that credit will deliver returns uh, more or less in line with uh, uh, carry, so with the uh, expected uh, uh, return of, uh, of the underlying asset class, uh, but we see areas of uh, 
very extended valuations, in particular in the high yield markets. Given the fact that we expect uh, lower uh, um, long-term re um, returns for basically most of all or all asset classes, so equities, uh, credit uh, and government bonds, uh, we believe that uh, the so-called alpha component, uh, which is the component coming from active management, will be uh, more important in the next uh, three to five years than it has been uh, in the recent past. And for that reason, it's important to be able to uh, focus and to leverage on uh, the highest possible number of uh, sources of alpha, of sources of value added, uh, possibly not correlated with each other. So uh, at Pioneer Investments, uh, we are focused on producing as many uh, sources uh, of different uh, value added, of different alpha as possible, uh, based uh, on our different capabilities. Thank you.